I'm pretty much on the northern tip of uh, the island. The little town is uh, Harvey. And one thing they have in Hawaii everywhere is this. They have churches wherever you go. And I know at least four more <laughs> on this side of, of the island, maybe more. Some of them are hidden in between the trees. But I thought this was kind of interesting. I mean, we see the American flag, we see the Hawaiian flag and uh, some uh, Jesus stuff right in front of the church. The door is open, so we might as well take a look. This is really pretty. We have the Pope on the wall. And we have something that looks like Father Damien. The guy who lived out his life in um, Kalopapa. I like the glass, it's really, really pretty. Probably many religious motives. The windows are telling a story. And they have these very, very cool fans because these older buildings, they are pretty stuffy. So you need to spin around the air What do you think? Pretty nice, right? And a famous Christmas story is told on the floor. Let me go closer. Look at the colors, it's just crazy. It must be very, very hard making glass like this. All right, we have seen it. And by the way, the lady higher up is probably Mother Marianne working together with uh, Father Damien. It's just my guess. I mean, I could be completely wrong. Don't quote me. I'm just saying that's what it looks like. When the sun is shining, it's hard to look at the building because it's so bright. I'm just saying, but that's probably the purpose of this white, intense color. The graveyard is higher up, well protected from the wind. And the grass is cut to perfection. Look how short it is. It's like a golf course. All right. What do you think? I think it's a nice church. And I see a sign down by the highway, it says, Welcome to the historic Kohala. And I know they have a coffee shop in there, so let, let's go and buy a cup. I, I'm, I, I just need coffee, I need caffeine. I found 
what I'm looking for. Coffee. How about this? But before I go in, I need to take a look at the street. It's beautiful. All their buildings built around, you know, 1920s, is my guess. The Kohala Trade Center, a brown historic building, and a couple of Batmobiles right in front of it. We have the modern stuff and we have the old stuff. But for now, I just need to hang out in this coffee shop. To so see you in a bit. And it really smells like freshly brewed coffee. I can't wait to have my little double shot espresso. Oh, it's coming here. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take a look at this. Oh, what a beauty. Wow. Okay. So in order to have a perfect day, you buy a coffee, you buy some sparkling water, you sit down and just enjoy a few minutes before it's time to move on. That's what I'm saying. The good stuff. Oh boy. I finished my coffee and uh, I'm slowly walking back to the car because we need to move forward. Say goodbye to the coffee shop. See you next time. Bye bye. Before leaving town, I just had to stop and take a look at this very interesting historic building where you have some type of art on the side of the building. Let me try to, to cross the street without dying here. Wow. All right. We have the Harvey Halle. And this uh, lady, she's holding two fish. It looks like uh, some type of reef parrot fish I don't know what it is but it looks pretty interesting and these buildings will never be built again it's just something from the past nevertheless it's very interesting to see they have another little church up on the hill called st. Augustine's Church it's very small and very cute it's actually one of the better ones I've seen in a long time it's it's fantastic so let's go and take a look it's built of wood it's very small the color is white and the door is red I like it it's very very typical for what they built here a long time ago in Hawaii we are passing a few graves on the way up and as a matter of fact we are surrounded by gravestones or headstones and they say e como mai Welcome, enter, rest and pray. All right, that's a good sign. Maybe we can open this door. But before I do, we need to take a look at the hinges. Made a long time ago, and they are still in use. Okay, is it open? It is. Wow. Take a look at this. 
can look at the windows, glass. That's probably Jesus. And it looks like it's a story from the Bible. Sometimes they sing, they need some music to it, and that's coming from this piece, this organ. And the priest is probably standing, probably up here, talking to his audience. This is what he will see. Or maybe it's a she, I mean, I don't know. I don't know who's running this place. The classic fans, and they are needed in here as well. I mean, this is just very, very stuffy, but incredibly nice. And this rope, I'm just guessing, it goes up in the tower to the bell. Look up there, there is a hole going straight up in the bell tower. So somebody is pulling that string, or rope, when they, or, or I'm guessing it's before they have service probably. Not when they have a service. I don't know what this is. But it's definitely a nice place. These graves look really old. It's definitely some original graves. And the tree is coming up from the ground. Wow, that's interesting. And they have some uh, green meeting hall down on the side by the parking lot. All right, this was definitely another very beautiful church. This is the uh, North Kohala Civic Center. And uh, what do we have if not another statue of Kamehameha the I? He looks very powerful, dressed up in yellow, right next to the Hawaiian flag. I love it. It's too bad. We have a cloudy day right now because it would look much better with the blue sky in the background. But that's life. That's the best I can do. Maybe I can <laughs> go to the back. And he's pointing north. He's pointing at Maui pretty much. And the old public library in this building. Ain't that sweet? And I think my journey for today is over. I have a feeling there will be some rain coming in because it's getting darker and darker, but that's okay. I can always go and have a glass of coconut rum. See you next time.